Good luck on the windflower. You too, jelly man. Say, he's been gone for a while. I wonder when Four's coming back. Uh, uh, Flower, what in Four did you just do? Nothing. I didn't think I did anything. What the? Flower, what happened? What do we do? What the pedal was that? Hello everyone, it is I, Artificial Deluxe here. Welcome back to another theory video. Yeah, you probably didn't expect this, didn't you? Well, ever since the last theory video we did... Yeah, I wanted to do another one, because like, whoa, did not expect that. So let's talk about this final theory before BFB 30 tomorrow. My first theory for the episode is probably going to be like 30 to 40 minutes long, because most finales will probably be around that time range. Or if not, it will be a long finale to conclude the character arcs and what's going to happen throughout from the finale or from now. Uh, let's get to the next theory. I'm curious, eliminated contestants. I want to know your opinion on who you would want to win the season of BFB. Me! My opinion is that it'd be pretty awesome if I could win BFB. But Blocky, you aren't one of the possible contenders. <laughs> Yeah, I know that. So why did you think that would? But I just thought you wanted to know my opinion, so I thought I could fudge the rules and- Lucky. What? Stop talking. Alright, so from this audio clip, this was shown after Inanimate Insanity Season 3, Episode 1, aka Inanimate Insanity Inventational. This was shown at the end credits, which was surprising enough that for the BFB finale, they shown an audio clip from the announcer and Blocky's conversation. The announcer asks, who do you think they will win? And for Blocky replying, they think they will win because they think they were quote unquote good enough or epic enough, whatever. But from the screenshots that were shown, I think the four screenshot could lead to four's idea of bringing back the FBI. And for this screenshot, well, what if the contestants are fighting for the prize? That's why it kind of looks like Fiery is pushing off the teardrop from the cliff. But really, who knows? Alright, on to our final theory. Alright, let's dive back to BFB 28. <laughs> <Dive. laughs> See what I did there? Alright, anyway. BFB 28, the last clip was shown X screaming out to 4 and saying if he'll come back anytime soon. And there was no response. However, in this clip, Flower does something to trigger the fact that 4 is still out there and still stuck in the ground. We're not sure what will happen, but I think 4 will come back from what either the announcer, X, or Flower does. It's unknown at the moment, but I think something will end up, yeah, triggering 4 and bringing him back to where he is. I highly doubt that the next challenge is to bring 4 back, as shown from the screenshot in Inanimate Insanity Inventational, Fiery and Teardrop off near a cliff, because like, the whole ground, it, it would have been blue if 4 was still stuck in the ground. So it's confirmed, or cleared, that 4 will return. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed this another theory of 80s thoughts and theories. Well, yeah, I could make this an actual series. <clears throat> anyway, um, thanks for watching, and before you go, take this audio clip, aka sneak peek of TMO14. Ugh, I don't know what to do! Yeah, me neither. But I did find this weird shiny thing. Shiny thing? Let me take a look at a, uh, acid drop.